So here is another one of John's creations for his lunch wraps. What do you have in there? John? Turkey cold cut. Turkey cold cut. Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. And the thing you made last night. And the thing I made last night, which is the bruschetta. I had some fresh uh, cherry tomatoes from the CSA. I chopped up into cubes some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, with fresh garlic, olive oil, and some salt. And now he's putting, I believe that's arugula, right? Mm -hmm. He's pulling out the arugula from our lettuce bin. You going to put anything else? Nope. No balsamic? No, I was thinking about it, but I'm going to pass. Mmm. And that's I John. I can't fit it on there. You can't fit the glaze on there? Nope. And that is John's wrap for lunch tomorrow. Here is another one of John's sandwiches, one of his wraps. Um, very similar to the others, but this one, I think the other one you had like red roasted tomato, uh, peppers or something. So this is leftover chicken, some grilled chicken, uh, cherry tomatoes, the last of my basil from the garden. He's drizzling some olive oil on it, and that's ricotta cheese. Anything else in there? Chicken, tomato, ricotta, and basil. And basil. And then we wrap it up. And then he we wraps it up. We get our core into it and we fold it and wrap it. Yep. Okay. And that he wraps up and he takes to work. So he is going to eat that tomorrow. Another one of his... Obviously, we love the Italian flavors of the sandwiches and stuff, but another one of his creations. Done. Done. So this morning, we had to make Sean a sandwich for lunch. So he likes the turkey with the mozzarella and then lettuce and then... Ooh. Sorry. And then pesto. He likes the pesto. And I used the um, Trader Joe's turkey that I got. Some mozzarella, Costco pesto, and then that's lettuce from the CSA. And that's Sean's sandwich for lunch. And then he's bringing in the guacamole with a couple of chips. And I might put a little piece of Halloween candy in there for him. And that's his lunch. Sean's lunch. John made himself some lunch today. What do you got, honey? Uh, I toasted the ciabatta roll. Toasted ciabatta. Put turkey, maguta, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw a piece of provolone cheese on here. Pro or half a piece, maybe just a half. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave to melt the cheese. Then I'm going to put some garlic olive oil and some fresh basil. And I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on there, too. Really? So you can do part two of in a minute. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Okay. Uh, so, so that came out of the. Ow, sorry. That came out of the microwave. Now it's all melty, the provolone cheese. Yeah. I'm going to put this on the bread so the bread gets some of it. The garlic olive oil. Nice. And I cut off a couple pieces of green because you yell at me if things don't have green. Yep. And that's basil from the CSA. Thank goodness they still had some. Mine's gone. If I put a little green. Then I can have a little, couple less chips. Oh, great. Chips. Yes. Some parmigiani. <laughs> parmigiani. Just to top it off. So it's two cheeses. Mm -hmm. mm. Three. Ricotta. Ricotta. Oh, three. Parmesan. Parmesan and provolone. And provolone. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, I can smell it too. I can smell the garlic oil and the basil. He loves sandwiches for lunch. There's your look right there. Nice. And to top off a perfect lunch, <laughs> your chips go there. The chips. Make room for the chips. Got our chips. Got our chips. Chips go to lunch. I bought another bag of those from Costco. If those are just crumbs. And there you have it. There yeah. you have it. John's lunch for today. Nice. So 
So John's making another sandwich for lunch tomorrow for work with the leftover chicken cutlet that we have. Got that on a ciabatta. This is your dinner. The leftover. Oh, you are going to take that. Yep. He's using the zucchini. Eggplant. An eggplant from leftover dinner. On a ciabatta. I was going to do a wrap. Talk me out of it. And then I went for the ciabatta roll, but it's going to be a mess. So I have a bib <laughs> at work. <laughs> You need a tarp. <laughs> at my desk. Yeah, it's a plastic tarp. Um, garlic olive oil. Oh. A little heavy here. This is how we seal it in. Provolone. Are you going to melt it? Yep. You are going to melt it. In the microwave tomorrow. So tomorrow. softens up the bread. I'm um, not toasting it because I don't have a toaster at work. So I'll go with the microwave. It'll soften it all up. All right. Garlic olive oil. Provolone oh. and your vegetable. Done. And my vegetable. Done. Leftover and a sandwich. I'm going to get a little bit of this into the roll, too, though. Oh. Yeah, he said the last time he used the garlic oil on one of his sandwiches, the garlic oil really made it. Really delicious. It sops in there. Yeah. Done. Done. And that's for lunch tomorrow. How you doing? So here's another sandwich by John, but Michael's eating it. Foot chips? Exactly. His recommendation? Foot chips. Chips. Put the chips on. It wouldn't be a John's creation without chips. So what is that? Tell me. It's leftover turkey that I know. Leftover turkey with uh, gravy on a roll. Uh, which kind of roll? The roll. We picked up fresh rolls yesterday from... Publix. Publix. Just fresh That's it? Shit. Turkey and gravy? Yep, turkey and gravy. Yep. Yes. Oh. It's simple. Yep, a lot simple. of it, though. There's a lot of it. Put a lot. See, and these are the Kaiser rolls they have down here in Tennessee. They are not the same Maybe as New York else. Kaiser turkey rolls. Turkey and gravy. Turkey and gravy. See, I would have put some cranberry sauce in there. You could have done that. I would do turkey and cranberry without the gravy. It's either turkey and gravy. Mm. Totally change the sandwich to turkey and cranberry. Two entirely different tastes. Yes. There's a science to it. Yes. Okay. You yeah. heard that. All right. So here is a sandwich Michael is making. And this is a sandwich that we got the inspiration from at Barnes & Noble's Cafe. We love going there for lunch. So they have what is called the Caprese Sandwich, which is like a long ciabatta with pesto, fresh mozzarella, and the sun-dried tomatoes. So we recreated it at home. So this is the Costco ciabatta bread, Costco pesto, fresh mozzarella, which we bought from Costco. And then these sun-dried tomatoes are from my CSA. Um, Sean made this, but he doesn't like the sun-dried tomatoes, so he didn't put that on, but, um, you just cover it, put the top on. You don't put it in the toaster like that. Oh, I don't? Yeah, cover it, close it. There you go. All right. And then you bake it until the mozzarella is nice and melty. And there it is. Look at the cheese, it's nice and melty. A little toasty, probably a little too high up on the toaster oven. Too tall. It's too tall. Too tall. But that is one tasty sandwich. Yeah. Presentation. Now, there you go. Now it looks better. <laughs> so here is a wrap Sean is making. So what do you got in there? Okay, so I got I put I heated up some grilled chicken from Tzatziki's last night. Mm-hmm. Then I put some Parmesan. Wow. Parmesan cheese on top of it. Mm -hmm. Then I put some romaine lettuce and tzatziki sauce. There you go. You should have put feta cheese. That would have been great. No, he, yeah. yeah, he doesn't like feta. No, not really. Yep, we got some uh, food delivered to our house. Well, not delivered, but we picked it up. My job ordered us some food from Tzatziki's, a Mediterranean restaurant here, um, for helping us helping us out with my surgery. So that is the leftovers. Yummy.